so why did you kill him? Who? Your partner. For that? I'll have to take you back to the beginning. Jimmy. Johnny. It's, uh, it's been a while. Yeah, it has. Last time I saw you was when we were gunning down Nazis. Don't even talk about that. It's not a part of my life I want to remember. No, I don't blame you. It wasn't exactly pretty, was it? Well, what you expect? It's war. It's not supposed to be pretty. So, what have you been doing since the war? Became a salesman. That's okay, money. You didn't go back to the criminal world then? No. I wanted a fresh start. What about you? Bad part jobs. Nothing big. We were talking for an hour or so. Catching up on things, trying to figure out what the future had in store for each of us. And a few days later, we met up at the same bar. We were sitting there, talking, when a beautiful woman walked in and caught our attention. She looked at me. No, she looked at me. Why would she look at you? All right. There's only one way we're going to find out who she's interested in. So, both of us decided to walk over, ask if we could sit down. She said, yeah, and we got talking. After a while, you could tell she was more interested in me than Jimmy. Later on, she left, and I decided to call it a day as well and head on home. The next day, Jimmy asked to meet me. He wanted to discuss something. Turned out, he wanted me to rob a bank. I was hesitant at first and didn't want to do it, but eventually he persuaded me and I agreed to do it. So how did the woman get involved and why? How? I don't know. As to why. Well, you see, I need a man who can look after me and support me, you know, financially. Can you do that? Good. So why split the money when you can have it all to yourself? Kill him at the first chance you can get, and then me and you can leave town together and start a new life. So why did you do the heist? Yeah, you had more than you could ask for. I owed him one. So what do you think? I don't know, Jimmy. It sounds too risky. What do you mean, it sounds too risky? You're a professional at this. You used to rob banks before the war. That was before the war. I'm a changed man now. Look, I didn't want to have to bring this up, but you owe me a favor. Do you remember what I did for you during the war? Do you? Yeah. What did I do? You saved my life. Yeah. That's right, I saved your life. Now you owe me a favor. You can do this one thing for me and then we're even. All right, I'm in. So, now for the moment of truth. Why did you do it? It's great, wasn't it? You wanted the money all for yourself. No! It was revenge for what they did! So that's the plan. We're doing it in two days' time. So what do you think? Well, you see, I need a man who can look after me and support me, you know, financially. Can you do that? Yeah, I can do all that and more. Good. So why split the money when you can have it all to yourself? Kill them at the first chance you can get, and then me and you can leave town together and start a new life. Do whatever you tell me to. 
I'll do whatever it takes to make it mine. player is bought in. Please take a seat, sir. I'm all in. You fuck with me. You're gambling with your life. So, you're admitting that you killed Jimmy Beretta and Gloria Clark? Yeah. Well, that makes our jobs easier. So, how did you find them? They did leave town after all. Tip off. Tip off. Who was it? Who was what? Who tipped you off? I ain't saying I'm not a snitch. Are you sure about that? I suggest you change your mind. I ain't saying. I recommend you change your mind. I ain't saying I'm not a snitch. Well, I guess you'll be dying alone then. Listen, if you tell us to tip you off, we'll be able to reduce your sentence. From a death sentence to a life sentence. Take that as a no. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We got enough to put this guy away. Well, I guess this case is closed. James, are you coming? No, I'll tell the find out how to tip this guy off. Good luck with that. And as for you, I hope you rot in hell. Thanks for the tip off. Don't worry about it. It's what friends are for. It's been a long time. Sure has. Oh, sorry about that. You know. You remember the good old days? Sure do. You rubbing the bags to me, uh, removing the evidence? Made some good partners, me and you, till you left the criminal world. So I ate back. That's you owe him a favor. Truth is, I miss the thrill. The adrenaline. <laughs> and the money. <laughs> sure as hell is a lot better than what I'm earning now. So, are you still planning going to Miami? Yeah. I've got a lot of uh, rich banks in Miami. Doubt you know anything about it. I'm going to need an inside man. A man who can clean up after me. Well, I did put my uh, transfer request in, as you said. Do you have the money? Yeah. Most of it. Hmm. Anyway, like we agreed, 3070. Your share's in a, a locker, Grand Central Station locker, 1940. Make it 4060. And why is that? Well, you gotta get out of here, right? And you can uh, take the money with you to the afterlife or prison. Unless you're gonna wipe your ass with it. 4060. I'll 
you what. We'll make it 50-50 if you kill that fucker. Fifty-fifty it is, then. Thank you.